care called in the media, setting up press conferences in front of the hotel and J.C. Penney. The result? Both women got apologies and their jobs back. July, I came to work um, wearing my hijab, um, and I was told I couldn't work. Um, I was told that the only way I could work in the detention center was as if I removed my hijab. Um, this has been very hard for me and my family. Um, I just want answers. On June 2nd, her first day of work, she says an Air France supervisor pulled her from the training session, demanding she speak with the person who hired her at Aerotech. He said that apparently Air France has an issue with the scarf and they will not allow me to work there with my scarf on because it violates their uniform policy. Refusing to take it off, Osman says she left Dulles Airport in tears. Soon after, she contacted the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, for help. With the ongoing controversy in France about the legality of wearing a hijab, CARE filed a complaint and sent a letter to Air France saying in part, quote, It is clear that a discriminatory dress code implemented in France would not supersede American laws protecting the religious rights of employees. Air France must follow American law and grant reasonable religious accommodations for its employees, end quote. 